while it's easier for pop artists to keep experimenting and integrate multiple genres into their albums, rappers don't enjoy the same luxury. If rapping has made someone famous, then fans would only want to see them keep doing that again and again and again in their trademark style. On its own, rap has no room for growth, which is why after spending years in the hip hop industry, big names get tired and look forward to doing something else. In the last two decades, many rappers have tried to change it by trying out something completely different. While some became huge with this, others were only panned by critics. These next two songs I'm about to do. In this video, we will take a look at eight rappers who dared to switch their genre and shock everyone. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. Also, if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end, and find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 8. Lil Wayne Lil Wayne is always credited for changing the landscape of modern hip-hop. His album The Carter 3 broke every record when it was released in 2008. It was the album that cemented his position as a new age iconic hip-hop artist. After the humongous success of The Carter 3, everyone expected to hear the fourth album in The Carter series, but then Lil Wayne wowed everyone. Instead of taking the safe route, he released a rock album titled Rebirth. Lucky for him, the risk paid off, and the album became successful. Although, there were a few stubborn critics who just weren't ready to call him a rock star, but they were very few. After this, Lil Wayne kept his success streak as a rapper and today lives life king size. Number 7. Childish Gambino Donald Glover, more famously known as Childish Gambino, is a man of many talents. He was already making waves as an actor when he decided to switch over to the cutthroat world of hip-hop. When he was working on his album, nobody took him seriously. Many called him just a wannabe rapper who won't release anything good. But in 2018, he released the biggest rap song in the world, This Is America. As he had already switched between multiple careers before, it was only fair for him to try and vast his horizon as a musician. After gaining success as a rapper, he went on for more of a funk sound in his next songs, and today, he is one of the most versatile artists of his generation. Number 6. Snoop Dogg Today's kids might find it hard to believe, but once upon a time, Snoop Dogg was a straight up gangster rapper. His lyrics were gritty, angsty, and violent, so much so that they were used against him in a trial case. But that was the early 90s. Now, three decades later, Snoop has traded all that edge for the cannabis high. He even tried to switch his genre to a more chilled out reggae artist highly inspired by Bob Marley. He released his reggae album, Reincarnated, in 2013, and it is safe to say that this project is the prime example of going too niche. His loyal fans wanted to embrace it, but couldn't, and they were glad to see that his reggae phase was over with just one album. Number 5. Future There was a time when rapping was all about spitting hardcore verses that would either talk about harsh street reality or would accentuate the locker room culture. For a rapper, being soft was equal to ending his career and street credibility. While many rappers have switched genres to expand their discography, Future changed his entire style. He burst onto the scene like every other rapper, but then soon enough, with his second album he went for more of a softer approach. While this move could have completely backfired, luckily it didn't for Future. For Hendrix, he collaborated with artists who are famous for their R&B and soulful vocals, like Chris Brown and The Weeknd. Number 4. Kanye West There is a reason why Kanye is one of the most influential personalities in the music business. People can have whatever opinion about him, but they can't disagree that he is a visionary. He does things before anyone else, and gets the benefit that comes with being a pioneer. Today, Kanye is a lot of things, but there was a time when he was just a rapper trying to create his own place. After getting the recognition, he mixed genres and went for a more pop electro sound in his 2008 album, 808 and Heartbreaks. The album was a critical and commercial success, and it was his third consecutive number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Critics now tie the root of modern hip-hop to this Kanye album. Many rappers today follow the layout this album gave, and even after being more than a decade old, it sounds like today's music. Number 3. Drake 
Over time, Drake has become the poster child of commercially successful rappers whose verses find more success in pop songs than in rap songs. Drake collaborated with the biggest pop artists of the turning 2010 decade and gave rap a whole new direction. He knew that gritty, street-style Chicago drill rap isn't for everyone. The 2010s were a decade of pop party anthems, and he definitely found a way to integrate his rap in those songs. After getting the success, he started producing his own tracks with a similar beat. It resulted in him having massive hits like In My Feelings and One Dance. While ardent rap fans may never add Drake to their top 5 rappers list, he has clearly won over the majority of the pop listening audience. Number 2. Machine Gun Kelly Nowadays, Machine Gun Kelly is making the headlines for two things. First, for dating Megan Fox, and secondly, for switching from rap. His newest album, Tickets to My Downfall, is a full-fledged pop-punk album, and it is a drastic shift from his previous sound. Not that anyone's complaining, the album debuted at the number one position in the Billboard chart. Travis Baker was the producer of this album, and his influence was clearly heard by the fans. Many fans liked how smoothly MGK transitioned. Some people even call this the result of his beef with Eminem. Well, this is the kind of professional rivalry that everyone likes. Maybe newbie rappers should learn from this. Number 1. Nelly In the early 2000s, Nelly was one of the most successful rappers just like how Drake is now. He was a regular feature on the biggest songs of those years, and each one was more famous than the previous. Many believe if there was YouTube at that time, Nelly would have been the first rapper to hit the billion view mark. He was a master in mixing rap and R&B to get that perfect early 2000s sound. But after achieving it all as a rapper, Nelly decided to switch into a genre that no rapper should ever try. He decided to go country. Critics and fans both were just confused by Nelly's interest in releasing country songs. Fans didn't listen to them, and critics had nothing nice to say about them. It's safe to say that after releasing country songs, Nelly's career never revived, and he is still best known for his mega hits that were released two decades ago. And with this, we have come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below which rapper do you think shouldn't have taken the risk in changing genres. Let us know your thoughts in the whole video below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.